Hello my Dota army, this is your immortal friend Slanero with you and today in this video I will be speaking about three things that I really really love about Southeast Asia server but before I start let me tell you something that recently I made a video about SCCS server where I spoke about some of the facts and some things which I feel like are linked towards the SCCS server and a lot of the comment sections below where I had almost about 50 to 100 comments people were kind of agreeing with me disagreeing with me but anyhow people really loved those videos so I thought why not I make a video for the people who play in SCCS server and maybe they can also relate so with that out of the way let's get started all right the first thing I really love about the server is the energetic communication. I mean, you know, whenever I played in Europe, yeah, I, I get it. You know, Europe, people are more mature. People are more, let's say, um, they care about the rank. But the games are very boring. People are just like quiet. You know, they don't say anything. They're just like like robots. I feel like zombies are playing Dora at the moment whereas in Southeast Asia server people are amazing you know I'm not saying that they always say the good things they're like very toxic at some times but they will say you know people will say la 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 bobo what are you doing what is going on what is doing that who is doing this I'm gonna go that you know it's very energetic you feel lively you feel like you're playing with human beings whereas in Europe you felt like you're playing with bots like I really love the fact the energy levels you know people are saying stuff people's mic are opening people are chatting even the enemy team you know even if they're trash talking you but there's some kind of let's say attractiveness so you're attracted towards the game you know you, you don't feel boring so whenever the game finishes you go and search or you queue for another game whereas in europe you're like it's like you're playing ti honestly and it's not good because you're playing pub games you're alone you're playing a solo pub you want at least some kind of communication that you're live you know you are not playing with some artificial intelligence so i really love the energetic communication all right number two the games are very unpredictable or suspenseful sc issue is a server where you can pick five carries and they will win the game i'm not lying the games are you you can never know depending on the lineup so for example in europe people would have a a guess that okay based on the hero lineup this team is going to win or based on some item choices that team is gonna win but in SC Asia anyone can win you can never know until the last moment where the game actually ends that who is going to win which I really love because at the end of the day if you're playing Dora 2 pub games even if it's ranked you want some kind of suspense you know you don't want games to be very predictable you know you want some unpredictableness you know for example suddenly a something happens the game changes let's say a 20,000 net worth lead can be just given away I know if you're the team with the 20k net worth lead and you lose you're gonna be very pissed off you're gonna be very angry but still you know I love the fact that the games are just mind-blowing the quality of the games in terms of its uh, predictableness is just amazing so hats off to you guys all right the last thing or third thing that I love about is the versatile picking so in Europe, usually people just pick the meta heroes again and again and again and again. I get it, right? But again, you know, you want some versatile picking. Like imagine in 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 SCHA, you would feel like someone playing a Triant, let's say mid, and not I'm not saying that they would play bad. They would play very good. So when I say versatile picking, not saying that they will pick heroes that they don't know how to play, but they will pick also the heroes that they know how to play, which is amazing. You know, you're gonna say for example a certain techies pick i don't know something unusual picks but they know how to play it meaning to say that they will not affect the ranks of the, or they will not if they are not ruining the game with their weird picks with their versatile picks so this is something which i really love about them you know because sometimes you get bored you know like every game ursa is gonna come in every game queen of pain is coming in every game this hero is coming in you know you, you kind of like oh my god just stop it you know like you just want to have let's say uh, something different so in se asia server you will get that differentness you will get that varietyness which i think is very important when it comes to pub games again guys i know rank pub is very important but again this is not ti man you want some kind of let's say unboring things non-boring things you, if you, you if you, because at the end of the day when you have something special different your mind changes 
you're thinking this changes. And again, you know, one of the pro players said that usually people lose MMR in games because their mind goes on pilot mode where you you think about every game in a certain way. You forget that. So these versatile picks really helps out in changing your dimension. So basically, yeah, I love this about SCSH servers. So these things about these three things about SCSH server are amazing. Uh, and guys, if you have more things to add, please put in the comment section. Let's discuss. Let's see what's right, what's wrong, what's not to work, what's to work. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and see you again, guys. Peace.